How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting, and welcome back to Enigma Part 7. Yeah, 7. <laughs> I think, as you know, I ended up doing two sessions at once because there was a lot of confusion, but it got too long, so I chopped it in half. This is the next part. I'm speaking to you from the future, of course, where I've just finished recording uh, Part 8. Now, let me tell you, this part, it's a lot more on track. We've kind of, I figured things out. We're, we're back onto a storyline. We're getting some interesting developments, and then Part 8 gets really, really interesting. So I hope you enjoy this episode, and I'll see you in it. Okay, so the next day. That only looked like one day passing. Colette told me you were a crybaby in the past. Well, that's a way to open up the conversation. Huh? She said you were a crybaby. Shut up. Kids cry, don't they? Speaking of the po uh, speaking of the pot calling the kettle black, she's the one who'd weep whenever she got the chance. <laughs> For example, well, there was this one time she tried she tried out mom's clothes without her permission and tore them apart. Try them on? Were you like was she trying to eat them or what? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and laugh. What about you when you were a kid? Well, I did my fair share of pranks and got into trouble too. Though it was mostly Elle who dragged me to those things. Elle? Ah. A uh, friend. <laughs> a friend. <laughs> I think I see where this is going. Good grief, this is so different than the other path. Apparently this is like, of this, this story plot, this is the true path. Okay. Huh? Anyway, why, where are you taking me today? Ah, right. Uh, we're gonna go to the river. Zazid said there might be some big fish caught in one of his traps by this time. Zazid? I think I've heard that name before. I don't, not Zazid, it's a za. It's, a, it's like Zazay. Or Zazid. I don't know. The idiot Ty was shouting at, uh, shouting at yesterday, right? Zazay was who lives by the river. Ah, he's a complete scaredy cat. Talks with the stutter, but he's good at setting traps. He set one for me yes. He set one for me yesterday. It said it was okay for me to come check it today. Uh, if you're sure it's fine. He said it's fine, so why shouldn't it be? I always share my firewood with him anyway. Anyway, let's go. It would suck if someone stole it from under our noses. Ah, microphone. I'm sorry. Microphone is always getting in the way. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Roger. Fascinating. Fascinating. The water's so cold. Don't slip and fall in, okay? <laughs> so, where's this trap of yours? Somewhere by that rock. Wait a second, I'll check it now. Well? Oh, it worked! Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. It's not the biggest fish I ever saw, but... Whoa! What happened? A huge fish just swam through between my legs. You let it get away! That should... <laughs> Apparently Lara was going through some puberty. <laughs> get away? I barely had time to understand what happened. Try catching it next time. Let's look. Maybe it's still around. You sure got energetic... You sure got energetic quick, didn't you? Ah, here it is. Whoa. Circle around it. I'll go over from this side. Wait, wait a second. Let's go. Uh, Lauro, it isn't there isn't going there. I'm not blind. You're leaving your right side open. It's here. Now it's our chats. Yeah, we got the fish. <laughs> it's a big fish. Oh my gosh. That was that's kind of that's a cute little picture right there. <laughs> yeah, look at he's like yeah, so happy. <laughs> that's seriously a big one. You could rarely get him this big like this in the river. What are you lying over there for? So lame. You jumped at me with such vigor, I lost my balance. Don't make it my fault. You just slipped, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're surprisingly clumsy, aren't you? Well, that's not a nice thing to say. But you did good! Look at this! 
It's bigger than even one of the Thai bought, a, ba bought back then. It's the victory of the friendship. Ah, uh, I wish to show off. Uh, I'd rather not see his face again. Guess I'll try controlling myself. And <laughs> that's a good idea. Uh, um, Chester, we're a pretty good team, don't you think? That's good. Good, good grief. <laughs> We can catch the biggest of fish, and have Ty eat our dust too. As long as we're together, we're unbeatable. Right. Oh wait, running doesn't running away doesn't sound like much winning to me. <laughs> Technically, it's re it's retreating and it, it's advancing in the opposite direction. Yeah, you know, not retreating. It was a victory, in a way. Oh, sure took a while for that to dry up. That's what you get for diving in the river with your clothes on. <sighs> hey, you were snickering at me again. I mean... <laughs> <sighs> if you're gonna keep laughing at me, I might do something to get back at you. Ha! <laughs> what do you mean, something? Look into my eyes. <laughs> Look into my eyes and feel my raging... Something. <laughs> hmm? As you gaze deep into the boundless blue, you become less and less able to resist my orders. What the heck are you talking about? Is this some sort of game? As if your eyes could have special powers. Stare. Stare. I have brown eyes, so I can't do it apparently, because I need the mystical blue eyes. I've got the mystical, magical, all powerful black brown, you know. What? N nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Laro? Yes? Um. Who's the one always preparing breakfast for me? me. And why is that? <laughs> He's actually doing it. Sis can't cook, but I can't let Chester find out or she'll be angry. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't expect that to actually work. <laughs> what? They the, the can't. Colette mentioned he had a tendency to believe things too easily. He'd become scammer fodder at the moment he set foot on the mainland. Hmm. I wonder if he too will change once he grows up. Hmm. Even someone as pure as him. <sighs> um, Laro, can I ask something of you? Yeah. <sighs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> if... Okay. Hmm. What's wrong? I... I don't think I can remember anything after we caught the fish. Huh. <laughs> what happened? I'm, I'm nervous. <clears throat> uh, that aside, are we gonna cook it, right? Are we gonna cook it right away? First we have to prepare it. Eliminate the stench and all that. This'll do it. Then we can eat it for dinner. I'll bring it to you once it's done, so just wait in your cabin. Thanks, uh, I was actually feeling kind of tired after exerting myself from early morning. Yeah, <laughs> we sure had to run all over the place just to catch a single fish. It may have been just a fish to you, but for me that was an adventure. If you say so. Anyway, I, I think I'll go back and get some sleep. Water can sure suck a man- suck a man's energy away. Phew. <sighs> Didn't you laugh enough at me already? Sorry. Anyway, I'll see you in the evening. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Hmm. Phew. That was fun. Okay. It certainly feels like it's longer than the, the, the death trap ones. Uh... I think... It's going well. We're friends already. It seemed like he was finally being himself. Hmm. 
Though, I still get this feeling he treats me like a child sometimes. But in a few years, I'll have no choice but to treat me as an equal. Well, except that when I, too, am an adult. But by that time, he's gonna be... That would be really depressing. But he seems fine, and he spent the entire day laughing, as if having the time of his life. Can someone terminally ill really, really act like that? Yeah. I mean, I admit, it would be kind of hard to get over, but if I were in a state where I was literally like just traveling around, just doing whatever I wanted, that's exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be laughing and just enjoying every moment I could, especially with other people. But I don't think he was lying. There's no reason to. In which case... Maybe, maybe he's getting better. I've heard that that island is a better air than the mainland. And that might have healed whatever he had. Aw, he's an optimist. That's nice. And he's eating fresh and tasty food. Of course he's getting better. That must be it. What did people call this? Oh, I can't remember. This is all in his head, too. He's, like, he's being very facially expressive for his head thoughts. <laughs> It's on the tip of my tongue. Right. Placebo effect? A miracle. Oh, okay. A miracle. Go. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, a miracle. How can I forget a word like that? Miracles exist. As long as you believe the light of one will certainly grace you. That's one of the thing one thing that kept me going. If despair exists not in this world, then there is a place only for hope. Pray, and the light shall descend upon you. Okay, apparently he's religious. Yeah, it must have been a miracle. The islands filled him with hope. Oh, he's so happy. He might have forgotten about his disease himself. How could he laugh like that otherwise? Laugh. Laurel! Sis? I'm done with the preparations. Well, what's wrong? Um, there's something I want to ask you. Hmm? What is it? Uh, about Chester. Chester? Hmm. How does his smile look to you? How? It's handsome and, and gentle and very cool, I think. Handsome? But why are you asking me this? This that is that was weird. Are you going to Chester's after this? If we don't start now, you'll be late. Yeah. I'll leave the cooking to you. Not that you have much of a choice. <laughs> mm. His smile is always the same. Okay. Cold. It was as though I was stuck under ice, drowning in dark waters. Yet I felt nothing, neither pain nor difficulty breathing. Only the concept of cold remained in the cavity of this wilted tree. Okay. I felt myself sinking deeper and deeper, but I did not try to resist the water's deadly embrace. For the darkness that surrounded me filled my heart with relief. While the single ray of light squeezing through the cracks felt utterly hollow, there was nothing else. As such, it was okay. I could laugh for as long as I wanted, and no one, no one, desired this. Okay. Hello? Huh. Creaky, creaky bed. It seemed like I fell asleep without noticing. Ugh, what a dream. Hmm? Huh. Hey, good evening. You just came right now? Come in. How did you know? Uh, because it was cold? It's nothing. I'm cl close the door if you don't mind. Hmm. 
Thank you for the dinner. A fish caught by yourself tasted like no other. Like tastes like no other. It was positively delicious. Is that how you're trying to get me to get to my heart? Oh, of course. It's not me. Ah, right, Colette. Then I guess you're working on this plan as a team. This tea was good. I don't think I drank anything like it before. I prepared it with some uh, Greta's leaves. It smells good, doesn't it? You're good with your hands? Yeah, I'm proud of it. Huh. Well, I'm not really an ex expert on anything. I can just do most things at a sat satisfactory, satisfactory level. And I thought it was more than enough back when. Um, can you tell me about the outside world? Outside world? You mean the mainland? Yeah. We've got a map at home. A world map. I inherited it from my mother. This island is not on it. I wonder how big it, it would be. I'm not sure how big your island is exactly, but... I don't think it's bigger than the town I lived in. A town? Oh, I've heard. I read about those in books. Wow, that would be interesting. I see. So this island is small. Compared to my town, at least. The one I lived in was a huge in particular. There were so many people, we'd have lights outside all through the entire night. Huh? And what kind of book did you read about that, anyway? Was it written on this island? Th those that come from outside sometimes bring books. Some survive, and I got a few like that. Mother taught me how to read. But most people on the island can't. I guess they're not interested. Hmm. Apparently, there are letters that exist only in this island, too. I don't know much about them myself, but Greta and Ignis might. Hmm. I loved books about adventurers traveling all over the world. Oh, I love those, too. R really? The one I was talking about is about this guy, Truman. He set on a journey to retrieve a lost grimoire. He doesn't find it in the end, but he never gives up. Sorry, my ears are kind of hurting. Huh? Uh, are you okay? Ah, sorry, I'm perfectly fine. Okay, then why'd you say that? What were you doing back outside? You had a job, right? Yeah, I guess I did. But was it hard? Was it something you could do? I could do? I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure there are other jobs that would suit you better. How about a florist? It's peaceful. Most customers are nice people. Selling flowers? Is that something that men do outside? Well, maybe not in the past, but it's all equal opportunity these days. You're the type that get pretty popular among the older ladies. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And, and what good is that? It's good for the job. Really? Could it be that he's... Do you want to see the outside world? Huh? You seem very conscious about it. Well... Well, of course. You, you've got a lot of time ahead of you. Enough for a whole load of adventures. How about heading to one one? I'm not going to cheer you along the way, but I don't think it's such a bad idea. You really think so? If you really want something, you have to seize it. Even if you fail, you have more regrets if you don't try in the first place. Or so I think. You think? Well, there are one or two kinds of regrets that could be worse, but... That's why you're not going to cheer me on? You've got to decide your, li your life yourself. Besides... The world is currently ravaged by the same disease I've got. No one seems to be sick on this island, so if you want safety, this might be the best place to be. Is that... Is that so? There are more people like Chester outside? Well, yeah. But if they all came to the island, they might get better just like him. I wonder if I could ask if his disease got better. Laro? Ah, it's nothing. 
I'm just talking about possibilities. Sometimes you can go wherever you want, yet the final destination always remains the same. That's why adults tell their kids to be careful with their choices. It's true. When journey before destination. I don't think I've ever been told that. Oh. Is that something everyone says outside? Hmm. Making choices are difficult, especially when you're on a new path where you cannot predict a thing. Mm hmm. I... I want to go on the outside world. I was hoping for a chance since a long time ago. But I was also scared. I couldn't even put that wish into words. I, I mean, I haven't met anyone else outside that had the same idea. No one talks about the outside here, and I, I know if I opened my mouth, everyone would treat me like a madman. Yeah. I wonder why it never occurs to the others. I mean, do they want to spend their whole lives on this tiny island? It's not like I hate it here, but I just can't understand. You can always choose a place for yourself after seeing the world, don't you think? Yet, no one ever considers that here. It's as if there's a whole part of the natural order of things to be born and die here, not setting your foot outside even for a moment. So I always thought I was weird. You aren't, Laro. You're just you're just facing your life with an open mind. No, even if it's them who are weird, it doesn't change the fact that there's something wrong with me. If I could muster the courage, I could go outside any time. Yet, I can't. I can't bring myself to move from this place. Laro, listen. I'm just the same. I always reserved it. Res re I always reserved adventures. The ones that you read about in fairy tales. Oh, revered. Sorry, revered adventures. But I could never set out on one. I never even tried. In this, that sense, I'm no different from the islanders here. Were you afraid? I wonder. I was thinking that I would prove to be the last choice I'd ever make. After all, that reverence was part of running away. Running away? I wanted to look for a hero. For a hero from fairy tales and people who could be his comrades. I couldn't become one, so I analyzed the concept. There was something I wanted to ask one when I met them. Ask what? I don't know. I forgot. Bull. Yeah, right. Hmm. Laro, I have a suggestion for you. A suggestion? If you're afraid to go all, go alone, how about we go together? Huh? My life is limited. I can't hold responsibility for after I pass away. Pass away? But... You're worried about Colette? Well, no, but... <laughs> yeah, I guess there's that guy, Ty, looking around. I can see why you would. It's true, I, I want to go and see the outside. I'm not lying. But before that, I want to become properly independent. So that I could tell Sis not to worry with true conviction. Then how about you try moving out of her house? There'd be no point. She'd get worried and come over all the time anyway. Isn't that Colette's inability to become less dependent on you, though? Who can blame her? Both mom and dad are long gone, and, and sis can't bear it alone. But if I continue like this, if I moved away, would you come with me? Yep, that's the path we're going down, apparently. I don't mind. Not sure if I would go in hand in hand with your independence plan, though. Well, I guess everyone needs help at first. Chester? Right. I saw a lot of smaller island islands just next to this one from the hill earlier. Hmm? Yeah, there are lots around. Some fishermen even have cabins built on some of them for convenience. Wouldn't one of those be a good place to move to? Huh? How about we go look at them tomorrow? Do you know of any of those cabins you mentioned are no longer in use? I, I, I think I can think of a few. Great! Then let's decide it. Let's look first and think about it later. That's way too sudden. How come you're more into this than me? It must be your imagination. 
Oh, isn't it about time for you to be heading back? Colette's gonna be worried. E yeah, you're right. I'll come over to your house tomorrow. Mm. All right. Good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> so this is how we're gonna roll out, apparently. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Whoa, what? Oh. Oh, gosh. <coughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> My vision is fading. I wonder if he noticed. It's... Uh, Miracle I held up for this long. Huh. I hate the taste of blood. Am I gonna get used to even that? Or will I die before I get the chance? <coughs> I'm not afraid of death. There's nothing in this world for me to keep clinging to anyway, but I made that promise just for a while longer. Just give me a few more days. Aww. It's really sad. Ugh. Terrible. But, you know what? I know we're close to the end, but I know this is going to put the episode up pretty long now with the uh, beginning bumblings and now here. So we're going to have to wrap it up here. Uh, so next episode, we will finish this arc and start the next one, uh, which I believe will be a little longer because it's going to involve even more storyline that we haven't covered quite in the same way. So I hope you stick around for that. I apologize. Like I said, I, I had no idea that this structure of this game is going to be so different from usual visual novels. I still love it and I'm so excited to finish it, but uh, we have to kind of see where it plays out from here. So, thanks for your patience. Sorry for the late video, but it just made the most sense to do it this way. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave comments below if you are curious about anything you want me to do or if there's particular endings I should try and shoot for. Um, if, you, if you know them, you can usually look them up on the guide. And you can just tell me what number it is. That way I don't have any of the plot spoiled for me. Uh, I just have a guy that lets me know, like, kind of what questions to answer to get to the specific endings that I want to make sure to show you. Because there are key endings that are important for, like, knowing the game, but then there's a dozens of dozens of different ones to get to. So anyway, thanks for the time you spent here. You are the what makes this channel fantastic. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I really appreciate everything you guys do, from every view you give me to every comment. It's the best in the world. You are, you are all awesome. And until the next video you watch with me or whatever whatever you happen to see me in next, I'll see you there.